Vladimir Putin hosted his first international summit back as president for leaders of former Soviet republics in Moscow on Tuesday. He wants closer Eurasian integration between countries still very much under the sphere of Russian influence. High up Putin's new list of foreign policy objectives is respect for sovereignty and territorial integrity, a clear reference to Moscow's continuing rejection of intervention in Syria. Soon after his inauguration, the Kremlin announced that the president had more important matters to attend to than the forthcoming Group of Eight Summit of World Leaders in the United States. That gives a clue to the way he intends to deal with Washington in his third term. The relations with the United States are uh, critically important for Russia, but relations of critical importance do not necessarily imply partnership or constructive cooperation. Yet the US is the only country to whom Putin has dedicated a set of defined policy goals. The president says he wants to implement the new Strategic Arms Reduction Treaty with Washington, a project dear to Barack Obama. But the American missile defense system that would see sites placed on Russia's borders remains a stumbling block. My last lecture, please. After my lecture, I have more flexibility. Thanks to Obama's candid comments in Seoul, real cooperation with the U.S. may depend on who ends up in the White House after November. Much was made of the so-called reset in U.S.-Russia relations between the Obama administration and the Kremlin under Dmitry Medvedev. But Vladimir Putin's decision not to attend the G8 summit at Camp David has left Many Kremlin watchers wondering whether President Putin has decided to press a reset button of his own. Robin Forrest, Walker, Al Jazeera, Moscow.